Let's sync. Making an animated film is hard. It's one of the things that takes a lot of time. There's no easy shortcuts to it. Putting what you have in your head down to paper or animation in the computer is a long process. We don't have quick, easy wins in here. One of the things that I'm trying with Tamari Sushi is this thing that I call agile production. I'm borrowing this term from management. This is something they do a lot in Silicon Valley, which is agile product development. In a nutshell, it's a different way of thinking about developing any new ideas. Traditionally speaking, if you want to design, let's say, a car, you have a bunch of teams that design each of the components individually, and then you put them together and have a period of time where you assemble and figure out the kinks. When I first heard about this, it came to mind the way a real production works. You write a script, you finalize it, you do an animatic, you finalize it, then you do the animation, the lighting, etc., etc. But you never see the final film until the last 10% of it. Which, yes, after you do this a few times, you get a better sense of how it's going to look, but it's still kind of weird that you only see what you're building at the final 10%, which parallels the previous model that I was explaining. So what is this Agile production? What it is, is a way to get to the crappiest version of your short film or animated episodic series as quickly as possible. And what I mean by that is having something that's lit with music, with dialogue, and all the individual pieces as early as possible. Going back to our car analogy, it would be the equivalent of having on week one a plank of wood and four wheels. And of course, it doesn't steer, it's a really crappy car, but it gets you from point A to point B. On week two, then you go ahead and add something for steering. And maybe on week three, a motor. And you keep working on things that it's gonna make the product better. Instead of things that you think is gonna make the product better at the end of the cycle. And that way you can test it and drive it around the block and figure out that you really need to put in some seats. I hope I'm not driving that analogy too far. But coming back to our animated thing, what I want to do is have a lit version of the animated thing as quickly as possible. And then I'll mix it in with whatever sketches or thoughts or, or voices I need to get the idea across. And I'll even do slash to get my points across. The advantage of this is that I can hit play from beginning to end very early on. And it looks like a film. It's like a very bad film. And that was what happened this week. Once I added the dialogues and had to mix in the render stuff with the boards, it looks like a little bit of a Frankenstein, to be honest. But that's okay, that's part of the process. That's what I decided to do. And that had by result that I could send this to all the people that are collaborating in this episode and get some true feedback of what it would do for them. And that makes it so that if I have to change something with the animation, it's not this thing that I finalized six months ago or three weeks ago or at the beginning of the process. It's this thing that I'm working on. This also forces you to have pieces in place that work well out of order. So I've had to make sure that my pipeline supports non-linear edits for this to make sense. Otherwise, if you export the animation and it takes you a day to get it to lighting, this is a very bad process or way of working. There are a lot of ideas that I wouldn't have come up with until the end of this had I worked on it differently. But now, since I did it this way, they're here. I'm super happy to share what episode two is. There's a lot of emotional setting up that I had to do on this episode so that the next part of the story down the line makes sense. But you can see here, finally, all of the different pieces of having a world with samurai sushis and all of the other stuff that's tangled in with that. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my production blog update. And that is a non-linear agile workflow applied to film. I hope this gives you new ideas on how to think about this. So even if you don't implement the full short or production like that, you still get areas where this can be useful. If you didn't have a section of the project that you're not quite sure, try to draw with post takes and then upgrade it on each cycle. It might give you a different result, one that you wouldn't have arrived to otherwise. I know that's what happened with me. This is a small channel, so if you like what you're seeing, uh, please subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and keep sharing this stuff. It keeps me motivated to see people that are interested. All right, that's what I have. Uh, William Windmill, signing off.